Hey everybody, hopefully you found this page about importing Canvas grades into LionPath, and if not, you can go to this URL, the link is in the video description. When you click on Create a Grading Scheme, you will get to this page right here, and it tells you what to do step by step, and you can follow along with that, or you can watch what I do here. Now, I am in my sandbox, so when I go to my sandbox, this is what it looks like and you can play in your sandbox and do anything you want without worrying about messing up an actual course and then once you're comfortable you can do the same thing in an actual course so follow along with me click on settings and then you want to enable course grading scheme but view the grading scheme and I'm currently using this one called Austin you can select another grading scheme or you might want to create your own so if you see this has D minus, C minus, those aren't acceptable grades in Lion Path. So let's manage a grading scheme. Now let's add one. And this is my demo. So that's for you guys right now. C minus, we don't have that. You can click this button, get rid of C minus. We don't have a D plus, get rid of that. We don't have a D minus, get rid of that. So now we can save this as the demo scheme. And if your grading scale looks like this, you can use the Lion Path standard scheme. In fact, uh, once you've finished doing that, you can go back to settings, and then under view grading scheme, you can uh, select a different scheme. And we just made the demo scheme. And if you want to use that grading standard, just click done. Make sure you update your course details, and you are finished with that step. Next, go to your course in Lion Path. Then you click Canvas Final Grades. After you do that, you may get a message that looks like this. You can click OK. And then your grades will populate. If you would like to change a student's grade, you can select the drop down, pick a different grade, and scroll down to the bottom. Now, I'm only showing the first 20 out of 24, so I'm going to show all. Now I get to see all of these students, and I'm going to click Save. Up at the top, you were at not reviewed, change your approval status to ready for review, and you see that you no longer have the option to change things. You can click save, and then you can go to approved, click save, go up and click save. It looks like you don't get a confirmation message of this, but grades should be saved at this point. If you would like to see a picture tutorial instead of this video one, from that blog post you can click on import grades and click on this link and it will take you through a step-by-step -step process when you click try it you just hit enter and it moves you through what to do so follow along with this if you want to see things again alright hope you enjoyed good luck with grades